Hello from the Power BI consultants team. I'm Cody McNair. Today we're going to construct a Power BI dashboard using the Financial Sample Excel workbook. You can download the Financial Sample Excel workbook in the description of this video. After doing so, open Power BI desktop and let's get started. To load the data, click on Import Data from Excel and double click on financialsample.xlsx wherever you save the file at. After you've loaded the data, select the financials table and choose transform data. If you look at the unit sold column, it appears that some entries still make sense, such as the 1618.5 figure. To fix this, let's select the unit sold column at the top and on the transform tab, select data type then select whole number, then click replace current. This effectively fixes the issue. Now let's look at the segments column. We can format the column to make the segments easier to see in the chart later. Click on the segment column at the top and on the transform tab, select format and then select uppercase. For the sake of analysis, let's say that we know that the Montana product was discontinued last month, so we'll use a filter to get rid of it from our data. In the product column, select the drop down and uncheck the box next to Montana. Now that we've cleaned up our data, let's create our first visual. On the insert ribbon, select text box, and in the text box, we'll put our title finance report, keeping things simple. And we'll set the font size to 20 and bold our title. Now let's create a column chart to see which month and year have the highest profit. From the fields pane, let's drag the profit field to a blank area on the report canvas. Now that we've done that, let's also drag the date field to the same visual. Power BI updates the column chart to show profit by the two years, 2013 and 2014. Let's say that we want to update the column chart to show profit for each month. In the field section of the visualization pane, let's select the drop down of the x-axis value and change date from date hierarchy to just date. We can now see the profit for each month if we enlarge the visual or hover over any of the bars. Although a bar chart can do the job, a line chart may work better. In the visualization pane, let's change the visualization type to line chart. From this, we can easily see that December of 2014 had the most profit. Let's now create a map to see which country or region had the highest profits. From the fields pane, let's drag the country field to a blank area of our report canvas to create a map. We'll also drag the profit field to the map. We see that Power BI creates a map visual with bubbles representing the relative profit of each location. I've now switched the visualizations and put them side by side in the top half of the canvas. Now let's create a clustered column chart by selecting the sales, product, and segment fields. We'll also drag the chart so that it's wide enough to fill the space under the top two charts. Now let's create a slicer to narrow in on performance for each month and year. Notice that I resized the visuals to make space on the left hand side. Let's drag over date from the fields pane to the leftmost blank area of our canvas and select the slicer from our visualizations pane. In the field section of the visualization pane also, let's remove quarter and day so that only month and year are left. Let's also resize the slicer and click the drop down arrows. Now we can visualize financial data from any specific year and month in our data set using our slicer.
Our dashboard is almost done. Let's now focus on sprucing up our visualizations. We'll begin by fixing some of the awkward titles on our visuals. I'll select the line chart that I made and change its title from sum of profit by date to profit by month and year. After clicking on the visual, click format your visual, hit general, and under the title section, adjust the title accordingly. You'll notice that I changed the title of the map to profit by country and the title of the clustered column chart to sales by product and segment as well. Let's add a y-axis title to the line chart and the clustered column chart. I'll select the line chart, hit format your visual under the visualization pane. Under the y-axis section, I'll click the title section and change the title to profit. And for the clustered column chart, I can do likewise and change its y-axis title to sales. Now that we've done that, let's change the theme of our dashboard. At the time of me making this video, it's October, so let's choose a theme with fall colors. On the View tab, let's click the Themes drop-down box and select Twilight. Now let's add a background shape for our dashboard title. Let's first send our title to the front by selecting it, clicking on Format, and Bring Forward. Now that we've done that, let's go to the Insert ribbon, select Shapes, and then Rectangle. We'll place it at the top of the page and stretch it to be almost the width of the page and about the height of the title. After doing that, we'll go to Format again and click Send Backward. Now that we've done that, let's also change the color of the title to white. Now let's spruce up our map and line chart even further. Let's toggle shadow to on for our line chart. First we select the chart, go to format your visual, hit general, go under the effects section and click on for the shadow. And we'll do likewise for our map. We'll also turn on the gray scale for a map by clicking visual, map settings, and under style, we'll set that to grayscale like so. For our map and line chart, let's also increase the size of the titles to make them more readable. As you can see, I've already changed them from gray to black. We'll start by selecting the visual for our map and under format your visual, we'll select general and change the title font size to 16. And we'll do likewise with our line chart. And likewise also with our clustered bar chart. And we are done. The dashboard looks great. As you can see, the financial report clearly visualizes that December of 2014 had the highest profit and the company had the most sales in France and Germany. Thank you for watching from the Power BI Consultants team.